Hey there, Lewis Capaldi. It appears to me that writing a second album seems pretty simple, yeah? It's a, it's a, it's a piece of piss, <laughs> if I can say so. Must <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, it was difficult. <laughs> difficult. Well, how does it feel for it to be finally coming out then? Um, it's a great relief, if I can be honest. If I can liken it to anything, it's like I have been holding in um, a shit for as long as I can remember. <laughs> and I've just now started to relieve myself upon the general public. That's what it feels like. And now that, that's the only thing I can think of that's similar. I feel that sort of relief when you take a big dump. <laughs> so would we say it's a kind of cleansing experience? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've had a colonic before. It's got a, like a laugh, I had a colonic once. And this it feels very similar. <laughs> Lewis might be joking now, but the pressure to replicate his early success hasn't always been funny. That's a Capaldi lyric, I think. <laughs> Come on, that's got to be. It seems like your parents, they're quite tough critics. I was surprised by this. They had a less than glowing review, shall we say, for some of your work. They are bastards, is what I'll say <laughs> about my parents. Um, they, no, my mum and dad have this thing where they're like, my mum's a nurse and my dad is a fishmonger. I don't know at what point they became these sort of musical savants that feel like, I'm just, when I'm showing you a song, I just want to, do you like it, do you not like it? But they like, they go in on it and they really dissect it. And I'm like, why are you all of a sudden like Simon Cowell just because my job now is like being a singer? But um, to be fair though, my parents, aren't always the best judge of what's a good song or not. They told me someone you loved was terrible. So anytime they tell me a song sucks, I'm kind of like, all right, I'm in, I'm in with a chance here. This could be a big one for us. Wow, well, someone you love was so successful. Is it, is it possible, do you think, to almost be too successful? Because then you're constantly trying to chase that success again, yeah? And then you don't know if you're gonna get there. Yeah, thank you for bringing it back up and making me <laughs> think about it again. Uh, a nice one, that's ruined my day, that. No, the day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all I I'm quite happy to be the someone you love guy for the rest of my life. I don't think, um... Because at the end of the day, I still wrote that song. Do you know what I mean? It's like, there's, I I'm still... If, if people are like, yeah, well, you know, you only did it once. And I'm like, well, that's once more than you, you but do you know what I mean? It's that sort of like, it's that sort of feeling I have. Can you see? No, I probably can't, but it's fine. It's all done now. We'll bleep it up. Yeah, so no, I'm quite happy to be, I'm quite happy to be the someone you love. I show, I'll show up at festivals in my 50s and sing that one song. I, I don't mind at all that being my sort of, uh, my future. Lewis has recently opened up about how fame has impacted his mental health. Most distinctly, his struggles with anxiety and Tourette syndrome. Ellen sent me an email saying, Dear Lewis, I was talking to Ed yesterday and we talked about you. He said you were feeling a bit like an imposter. Bollocks! That's in Phil Capital Wells. Does it help in this line of work having famous friends to, to lean on that can kind of help you with this because they've gone through it themselves? Oh, no, they're all pieces of shit. I don't like any of those guys. Trust me, it's just, it's all a facade. I'm talking Niall Horan, Ed Sheeran, absolute dickheads. Honestly, it's all a front. We do not like each other. We do not hang out. We're, we're in constant, we're in constant, a constant melee together um, on in the musical spheres. But um, no, I don't know, man. It's like, it is, it's a nice thing, obviously. No one else has the answers, I guess, is the thing I've kind of realised. You can ask for help, and it is nice to ask Niall and Ed and Elton and stuff like that for, for a hand here and there and, and, and for sort of a, uh, a bit of guidance. But at the end of the day, it's you that has to um, sort of... Uh, they, can t they can point you in the right direction, but you have to really do, I guess, the work. To quote Kim Kardashian, <laughs> no one wants to f work these days. And, um, yeah, I... I <laughs> want to, yeah, you have to, if I want to be better with my anxiety and all the rest of it, I have to be the one to 
make the active change for that. But yeah, it's nice to have Ed and stuff to sort of bounce ideas off of and, and get some advice from here and there. But um, yeah, as I say, for the most part, we just drink alcohol. So it's not that <laughs> it's not that much wisdom that's being imparted in that situation. Well, talking about things that you have to do yourself, self-promotion is one of those. And it has struck me, Lewis Capaldi, I mean with respect, you're not amazing at selling yourself. So give it a go now. Say to the Australian public, why should they buy this album? Australia, can I address the nation? Please, please, by all means, go. Listen up, Australia, you <laughs> In a good way. It's Lewis <laughs> Capaldi here, and I am <laughs> sick to the back teeth. I don't know if you can hear that there's an ambulance outside and that's the ambulance that you'll be leaving in if you don't buy my brand new album Broken by Desire to be Heavenly Sent. Okay, or, or you guys would probably call it like an album or something like that. You put O on the end of everything. You <laughs> beautiful bastards. And I'll see you soon. I'll be down there in July. And if I see one person who's not bought my album, I'm going to throw hands your way, you mother... I love you so much. Can't wait to see you. Please buy my album. Um, I've got a crippling mortgage to pay. Thank you. <laughs> you know, you've gone in strong. You've gone in strong. But you, you know that our Prime Minister, his name is Albo. Like, that's 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 literally his nickname. <laughs> buy my album, Albo. <laughs> He's the best. I love him so much. Um, this is his brand new record. It's titled Broken by Desire to be Heavenly Sent. It's out on Friday. He's amazing.